Simon Anderson forged a career not only as a world-class competitor, but as a surfer completely immersed in surfboard design. Over 30 years ago, he revolutionised surfing when he invented the three-fin thruster. Now, Surfing Australia was absolutely privileged to go one-on-one, -on -one, sit down and have a chat with Simon as he shared the story of how the thruster was born. At the time, back in 1980, 81, there was two schools of thought. Uh, there was a single fin camp and the twin fin camp. And pretty much everyone was in the single fin camp. You know, really pro surfing didn't really know where it was going. Uh, just knew it needed to evolve in some way, shape or form. So we ended up at uh, a lot of new uh, countries like Japan, England, uh, Brazil, uh, Europe and we're finding that uh, pretty much the waves were, were generally small. Uh, Mark, as it was with his twin fin, was having good success. You know, he's a great surfer and if we really wanted to compete, if we wanted to match MR or try and match MR, we really had to do something about our equipment. And for me, being in the single fin camp firmly and a big guy, it meant switching to a twin fin. I found great difficulty in, in doing that because the twin is Essentially, it's a very fast, very loose board that's difficult to control and you need to surf it a certain way and I guess in a way I'm kind of inflexible in my thinking about my surfing and I was reluctant to give up single fin. There was this inner conflict, if you like, there was this need that I had to do something. Um, and eventually um, I got the spark. Uh, in October 1980, the, I was back in Sydney surfing Narrabeen where I live and a mate of mine who works in the surfing surfboard industry, Frank Williams, he came out of the surf and he, was, he had a twin fin with him. And there was this little stubby thing at the back of his twin fin board right on the swallowtail, uh, about an inch high, so it was a tiny little thing about that long. And I said to Frank, you know, what's that do, Frank? And he said, oh, it helps make the twin fin a bit more stable. And I immediately had the thought, well, I'm gonna make that real stable. I'm gonna put a, fin, uh, you know, a whole fin back there. And I just went back to the factory. I don't know whether it was that day, that moment, or the next day. Went back to the factory and added three, three fins. And it was just a little bit of adjusting of fin sizes and stuff, but that's where the idea came from. The thing about surfboard design and surfers, you know, guys like Kelly, for example, maybe Dane Reynolds, um, you know, surfers are never satisfied with uh, the status quo and they want improvement. Uh, you know, they've got imaginations, they, they want to surf in a different way from the group that before them. The more we develop boards and the more so sophisticated they become, the more we're able to go back over pre-existing designs and add those elements and bring that alive. I want to be the best I can be and there's no better high than pushing myself and my surfing. For me, Surfing is everything. I can't imagine not having surfing with me for the rest of my life. Don't let drugs destroy your future.